Thank you. All right. Section two, findings and purpose. Findings, the Congress finds the following. One, Dr. Martin Luther King identified the triple evils of poverty, racism, and militarism, declaring before his death in 1968, our only hope today lies in our ability to recapture the revolutionary spirit and to go out into a sometimes hostile world, declaring eternal opposition to poverty, racism, and militarism. With this powerful commitment, we shall boldly challenge the status quo. Two, that revolutionary spirit Dr. King spoke of is embedded within the preamble of the Constitution, which outlines the five duties of all Americans, individually and collectively. Those ideals are the driver for this legislative package. Three, tens of millions of Americans live below the poverty line, including millions of children. Dr. King called for a basic income, stating, we must develop a program that will drive the nation to a guaranteed annual income. We are likely to find that the problems of housing and education, instead of preceding the abolition of poverty, will themselves be affected if poverty is first abolished. The poor transformed into purchasers will do a great deal on their own. A host of positive psychological changes inevitably will result from widespread economic security. The dignity of the individual will flourish when the decisions concerning his life are in his own hands, when he has the means to seek self-improvement. Personal conflicts among husbands, wives, and children will diminish when the unjust measurement of human worth on the scale of dollars is eliminated. Now our country can do this. Four, American system, America's system of mass incarceration has grown the prison population to eight times what it was at the end of Dr. King's life. It has been called the new Jim Crow because of its disproportionate effect on communities of color. Despite, despite similar usage rates across races, people of color are more likely to be arrested and incarcerated in the war on drugs. Dr. King wrote about racial bias in his letter from the Birmingham jail. All segregation statutes are unjust because the segregation distorts the soul and damages the personality. It gives the segregator a false sense of superiority and the segregated a false sense of inferiority. It is not only politically, economically, and sociologically unsound, but it is morally wrong and sinful. An unjust law is a code that a majority inflicts on a minority that is not binding on itself. This is different made legal. Five, Dr. King spoke vehemently against the endless war of Vietnam, and many of his observations are just as true of the Middle East. The only change came from America as we increased our troop commitments in support of governments which were singularly corrupt, inept, and without popular support. Now they languish under our bombs and consider us, not their fellow Vietnamese, the real enemy. They know they must move on or be destroyed by our bombs. So far, we may have killed a million of them, mostly children. We have destroyed their two most cherished institutions, the family and the village. We have destroyed their land and their crops. Now there is little left to build on, save bitterness. We must speak for them and raise the questions they cannot raise. These two are our brothers. Purpose of this act is to end poverty, end mass incarceration, and end the endless wars in order to build a better America.